Here in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can align quantity input box as well as add to cart button in the same line. So on my screen, you can see that both are in the same line. If I am refreshing this page, so you will see that both are next to each other. So this is the original design. I'm going to show you the steps which you can follow and, and make both these align in the same line. So I have added a simple code, which I am going to do it in front of you. You should go to the uh, dashboard of the store. So whichever theme you wanted to edit, you can do it. I'm going to edit into this uh, theme you should click on these three dots click on edit code and here we have some files and folders you should open assets so you will be having app.css or maybe theme.css or uh, you can also see base.css you should go to the uh, bottom of this uh, file and then after you should uh, right click on this click on inspect and you will see that these are going next to each other. You should hover over it. You can see that we have button here, which is inside of this div element. So actually this is add to cart button. So I need to find this add to cart button in my file. So you should go to man uh, product firstly man dash product. And you can see that we have man dash product dot liquid inside of it. You will be finding somewhere button or maybe there will be any kind of uh, component. So you can see that product dash information there is another section you should open it up so here we have product dash add dash to dash cart copy this and paste it here you can see that we have product dash add dash to dash cart so you can see that we have this div i am going to put a small class here class equals to uh, double quotes and i am writing here custom add to cart dash button btn so you should copy this class name, save the changes and go to app.css and at the bottom you should write here dot and then paste that name and then after you should write here display inline block. So you can see that once I have written display inline block, so this is looking like this and then after we are interested to remove these borders so the first thing is like we need to remove the border from button so you can see that we have this button you should copy the id of this add to cart so i'm going to write here hash because for id you need to write here hash and this id is inside of this class name so you should write the class name first and then after you should write here border radius zero so this is how you will remove the border once you are refreshing it you can see that border has been removed so this is how you can align the quantity input box and add to cart button in the same line firstly you should follow this code if this is working then fine if not then you can send me the store link i will help you out in that thank you so much for watching this video if you are new on this channel then please subscribe this channel also like this video thank you once again see you in the next video